I'm going to do what I should have done a long time ago. Um, so I make XPatter profiles, but I have never actually made an XPatter setup guide. So let's do that. You're just getting started with XPatter. You need to know what to do. We need to, before you can use any profiles, you need to map your controller to XPatter. This is what's going to happen when you open XPatter for the first time. You're going to see a bunch of nothing. So we're going to want to go to click new. Let's click on new. And then we get more nothing. So image, we can take care of that right now. Uh, this is just, uh, this is my site. I made these two. Um, I'm going to remap in my 360 controller. I also have a PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, pretty much a shitload of controllers will work in XPatter. I'm not going to say which ones will and which ones won't. There's a hell of a lot. So more than likely, you'll be able to map it in. So we just want to copy this. Go back. Paste. Okay, boom. Now we're making progress. Now... This is going to be our guide. We're going to go to Sticks. I have my controller on right now. So we're going to click Enabled. Now I'm going to push my stick left, up, and now we can see it's giving me the feedback. And then here we're going to move it. Just line it up. And let's do the same thing for the right stick. Left, up. Test it. All quadrants are working. Let's slide this over. And let's get this back down. All right. Yeah. Then we put this over here. Okay, so we have the sticks. We want to go down to D-pad. Enabled. Up, down, left, right. See, it's all working. Drag it over, line it up. Buttons. Just push a button. Pushing A. So now, boom, showing it. And then I want to line it up. X, testing that it's working, yes. Drag it over, line it up. Y, same thing, because. And B. And blah, 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 I don't really need to be going through this. In detail, I mean, you can tell what I'm doing right now. Just mapping out the rest of the buttons. Bumper. No, the only thing I'm not going to do is um, trigger. So these are all just single click buttons. Let's go down to the triggers, enabled, right trigger, okay. And those pretty much put them right where I want them. All right, so got that. And then you can see, you know, in green, it's all working. So let's go ahead and Whoops, not do that. Click on the controller, little controller button, and save as. You can see here I have um, my DS4 mapping. So we're going to call this yeah, 360. You can call it whatever you want. All right. So then, and then just to test that. So I turned off the controller. Now when I turn the controller back on, you can see it, it will automatically read this profile that we have saved for the, or not the profile, this mapping that we have saved for the 360 controller. So I can switch around between this and my DualShock 4 controller. XPatter knows the difference. It pulls up my other mapping for the DS4. So... What else do I want to show you? This was the basic mapping for the controller. Uh, if you, if we loaded up a game, nothing's going to happen. This, there's nothing mapped. But we needed to do this so the program understood what buttons are being pressed. The profile is right here. So, for instance, here, well, yeah, let's go with the Arma 3 one. So it's loading in my Arma 3 profile, and you can see it's pretty complicated a lot of stuff but just we can test it all see what's happening see now I'm moving my the right stick is for the cursor uh, what else do I want to go over in this this I 
want to keep this pretty simple. This was just to map the controller into XPatter. Uh, so you could then load in, well, yeah, let's go over that. So you mapped in the controller. You want to, let's just say, yeah, okay, let's, let's go to my profiles. Um, boo, boo, doo, boo. All right, so we're looking at the Hunter Primal. Um, and then we can just copy this data. Do, do, do the code data. We're going to copy, click on the little note icon beside where the profile is listed, paste. So now you would want to make sure that you save this though, because this is just showing it as you know, the pasted profile. And then, you know, I would change the name to whatever, you know, I would take out the pasted part. I'm not going to do that for this because I already have it in here. I mean, you can see I, I use XPatter a lot, like ridiculous amount. So as far as people complaining that it costs money, it is totally worth it to me. I've more than made up with, made up for it through all the use I've gotten out of it. Okay, so that's how to paste in the profile, or you could download, if you downloaded my zip, that would give you the, uh, that would give you the XPatter profile file. You know, and then you could just dump that into your documents folder with all the XPatter stuff and just open it instead of pasting it in. It's really just a preference. So, all right, and then maybe one more thing I want to go over is just uh, in XPatter, you have, you know, the little wrench icons. So what that's going to be, you could go in there. So I have this map to mouse settings, so you could click in here and you could change, you know, how fast the mouse moves. So, you know, let's we can take it up to so now I use the right stick, and it's, woo, it's very quick. Um, oh, something else would be dead zones. So if your controller's kind of old, and you load up a profile, and like, what the hell, my guy keeps spinning in circles looking left, or he keeps walking to the right, that would be the dead zone on your sticks. So we will want to click, I believe we're going to go just on settings. Yeah. And then this red, so you can see, it hasn't given me any troubles, but you can see, like, I'm actually, the A and the S are pretty close. This 360 stick, this is a pretty old one. I usually use that DS4. But you can make that larger. You know, we could make it way out here. or less. So actually, let me see, can we make it... Yeah, see, I'm not touching the stick right now, and you can see my little icon is just bebopping to the left. That's the dead zone, that has nothing to do with x pattern. That's that's my controller, my controller is an old piece of shit. So, I need to, oh shit! I need to get in here. <laughs> eh, eh. There. And that's how you adjust the dead zone. Um, I think that that's pretty good for now. This was just a, a basic starting out guide for XPatter, how to map in the controller, how to open up some profiles. Um, so yeah, that's all I got really. Um, just one final thing, if you get a range check error on in XPatter trying to open up profiles, that is because your version of XPatter is too old. It's just not compatible with the newer profiles. So you might need to pony up for the new version of XPatter. Or it's, it's not going to work for you. 
But okay, that's all I got. Uh, yeah. Not a very amusing video, but hopefully informative. Thank you all, and have a pleasant day. Little um, addendum here. I was previewing my footage, and I realized for the buttons, I forgot to do the stick clicks. So, uh-oh, what do I do? Yeah, I'm pushing the... Oh, man, nothing's happening. So, we can, we can fix that. It's, it's not... It's not a catastrophe. We're gonna go to settings. Go down to buttons. Boom. Left stick click. Stick that over here. Right stick click. Boom. And you can see over here in this mapping, because it still has that pasted profile I had in there, it's, it's, it's assigning that already, because I have that in there. So I just had to get the button properly mapped. Okay, and then we are going to save the controller. So there, you know, we got run, goes to set two for run, I'm holding up on my run, I let go of it, goes back to default. So there we go, it's all in there. And now I'm finished, and now I'm saying goodbye, again.